The holidays are a time for family, friends, food, and for many, stress. But there are ways to make sure you have a healthy holiday season. Dr. Terrell Patel, a cardiologist at Dean Clinic, joins us this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, so we're talking about holiday heart syndrome. I thought it was going to be more like, like broken heart syndrome, but this <laughs> is completely different here. So tell us what this is. Right, so it sounds like a positive thing. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. it's, it's not so much. It, it's, a, um, it's a name we give to a syndrome that occurs more often around the time of the holidays when people are mm -hmm. kind of overindulging in um, you know, usually alcohol, but also mm -hmm. food, things that are laden with high fat, high salt, and also a time of a lot of stress, as you mentioned. And all these things sort of combine to create some very specific problems with the heart. So you see a lot of like heart issues, heart attacks, uh, heart rhythm changes. Exactly, yeah. The most common manifestation will be this uh, arrhythmia we call atrial fibrillation, which mm -hmm. is one of the most common arrhythmias that we see. Mm -hmm. And it can occur in patients who have some sort of kind of underlying heart condition, but also very healthy patients who otherwise have no other heart history. But they've had, you know, a time, uh, you know, with their families. They're, you know, having a little bit more alcohol than they're used to, kind of sort of overeating, and these things um, can uh, essentially combine to, um, you know, stimulate this, uh, to trigger this arrhythmia. And so you 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 see a variety of people, mm -hmm. a lot of patients, um, and. You could probably, we were talking earlier, you probably look at people like, okay, there's a candidate, there's a candidate, there's a candidate, right. and then like, okay, no, 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 but you're seeing all of them. What, what percentage would you give that? Yeah, so definitely the, the vast majority of patients who come in with these problems during, in, during mm -hmm. the time of the holidays are patients who have some kind of underlying heart mm -hmm. condition, maybe a heart attack history or, what, or uh, a, a disease we call heart failure mm -hmm. in the background, but certainly people who have uh, no um, you know, interaction with, with doctors in the past can certainly come in with, with these types of problems. The nice thing is that this is a very avoidable situation. Okay, so what can you do to avoid that change in heart rhythm? Well, it's about listening to grandma and mom's advice, you know, everything in moderation, and that will uh, stave off the vast majority of these problems. You know, the rule of thumb generally for alcohol is maybe one to two drinks per day. That's a kind of a healthy amount. Mm -hmm. Anything more than that can put you at risk for these types of conditions. And with the holidays, it's, you know, Of course, yeah, there's a lot of family, a lot of friends around. There's mm -hmm. a, uh, of course, uh, you know, um, you know, in the, in the, in the spirit of, of celebrating. Of course, yeah, so people have a little bit too okay. much. Okay, yeah. all right. So. Listen to mom, listen to grandma. That's right. And listen to your doctor. That's correct. <laughs> Bottom line. All right, doctor, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure.